I'm okay with the downtime for example, imagine I'm okay with the downtime I don't have any issue then what you do you shut down machines two and three availability zones keep it like this if the machine goes down then you start these machines and do the work which is perfectly fine if you're okay with the downtime if you say no my application should never go down then what you need to do you need to run those servers 24 bar 7. Okay. so it means it, this is mainly for redundancy purpose that is obvious yes got it thank you Anything else guys any questions for availability zones regions resource group Okay, then let's proceed. Okay, so next is what we're going to do is we're going to deploy our basic infrastructure uh, to deploy the things and start using it actually now uh, what, what exactly I'm going to do here is <clears throat> Let's draft what are things you're going to do. Uh, we already created a resource group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the whole resource group. I'll tell you. So whenever you complete your lab, right? What you can do, you could directly come here. Normally, what I do is I just simply select this. I actually delete the resource group because it will create delete whatever the resources inside. Because deleting of individual resource is a headache. So simply I'm going to click on here and delete it, and it will get deleted. Okay, so I'll delete it and I'll go have my breakfast and come back. Everything is clear. That's that is how I do that one. If you think that you can delete manually, yes, go one by one and uh, delete these resources. That is also possible. You can select it out, go one and uh, delete it. That is also possible. So in this scenario, what we are going to do is okay first thing is create rg second is create vnet create subnets create uh, network security groups create a virtual machine and finally create a connect to virtual machine these are the steps we're going to do again we are going to do this in two different ways one is i'm going to show how to do that in a portal because Later, I'm not going to show you to do it in portal because I'm going to execute the script every time we start a class So that's why this is the only time I'm going to deploy all these things in portal uh, Again guys you try to choose to do over the script and uh, try to learn the commands because it will going to become your best friend So doing things in portal has no value Portal is there to just to verify whether it is properly created or if or to delete some resource group or or just take a reports or something to do a mass deployments or automation everything right no portal is not it it will be like PowerShell or a Azure uh, Azure CLI basically okay right so let's do that in the let's do that uh, using the portal and then uh, we're going to draft the CLIs and I'm going to share the CLIs with you so that you can use it again and again right. <clears throat> Yeah, um, yes. before you start, uh, so by mistake, if it, if a user who has access deleted something by mistake, is there any way that it can be reverted again? No, you, you can't re revert it, but what you can do is you can protect from the mistakes happening. See, uh, what will happen is, well, of course, you can, if you take a backup, yes, it will work. There is something called Azure backup, uh, but if you don't take a backup, it is gone. Very simple. So to protect what I do is for example, see this is Habachi, which is which is my my VM is there, right? For example, uh, the virtual machine which I do every day to take classes here, right? So this is my virtual machine. So all my data everything is here actually if you see so for example all my scripts everything I'll save it here in the files and everything now if this gets deleted, it's a it's a headache for me So what I did was on the resource group on the resource group I went to Habachi and we have something called as locks here so what i did was i have applied the lock delete lock so when i applied the lock what will happen is 
the resources cannot be deleted even by mistake sometimes while recreating resource groups right deleting instead i might actually select this and basically uh, delete this resource group and uh, type this put it here and i'm going to delete by mistake for example so it's say the resource group is locked and cannot be deleted so like this you can protect yourself actually but again if you are admin you unlock it and you deleted it <laughs> no one can do anything but if you have if, if there are virtual machines if you already took the backup right you can revert you can take you can restore it okay uh -huh. thank you uh Shri, i have a question so in a mm -hmm. production environment how do we keep uh, so like one virtual machine in one resource group or multiple virtual machine in one resource group uh you will understand next week uh, hold on to that thought okay. so next week i'll explain about the hub and spoke architecture you will understand that okay okay yeah and is this lock uh, is only for resource group or for the uh, all the resources in the resource group also it inherits actually okay if i apply on this one whatever the resources it will get inherits inside so if i go to locks so basically what will happen is i apply the lock here and it will inherits to whatever the resources inside okay yeah okay so let's try to deploy these things uh, i want a resource group i want a vnet subnets nsg vm okay so quite a big task so let's go to the resource groups so let's note down the time actually guys okay uh, so i'm started at 236 right so let's do how fast we can do doesn't matter how fast you can do because <laughs> it should suffer so azure eng b01 i'm going to give so east us so Review and create and create. Okay, it says it is created, so we need to wait for that one. Or what I can do, I can go to the virtual networks here. This is a virtual network, and is already there. But my machine is only this is in Hub RG. We need to create a new one. Now, as I said, virtual networks uh, resource group is not uh, belong to any region but network does if you're creating a virtual network it is like you're creating a big network guys it's belong to that particular region so i'm going to select this one here i'm going to say like uh, for example uh, i'm going to give azure azure hyphen eng hyphen b01 vnet one for example and uh, let me tell you this is region specific actually if i select on east us that means this network is only available in east us so ip addresses you need to give the ip address space and i'm going to use this 10.1 dot okay and you can create some additional subnets here earlier it, it, it was not there so let me do one thing i can actually give uh, something like hold on i'll go here i'll copy this name go next so edit i'll say uh, it's a subnet one i'll start with 1.0 okay click on save and if you want to add additional subnets also that is fair enough so you go into two and 10.1.2.0 uh, slash 24 you can do it later also guys no required i'm just going to add two subnets so security so we're going to talk about these two later so tax review and create and create so what it is doing it is actually deploying a virtual network inside that virtual network it's going to create two subnets actually and if you want to have some additional subnets you can still do that uh, you can go here uh, go once the vnet is created right you can you can go and uh, uh, create the subnets okay let it come so you need to wait until this is created okay so we started at uh, 235 right okay let's wait okay done and uh, third one is we need to create the subnet subnet is also done so this is also done or i can say like third subnet i need to create it so i go say go to resource i go to subnets and i say add subnet i'm going to give subnet 3 i'm going to say 3.0 sorry 3.0 and i click on okay okay it is done okay next is so i have three subnets so next is the uh, next thing i need to give create nsg which is network security group which is called security groups in uh, uh, aws so i'll go to come down net, yeah this is network security groups
see right now just create only one sec one network security group uh, i'll tell you we have a detailed class to discuss about security groups and uh, security actually so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to say nsg1 for example azure english b0 nsg1 and i'm going to select east us so next tags review and create and create So by the way, uh, next week I'm going to send a, a new meeting ID guys to the people who already paid the fee. So uh, I'll send it out by the Friday. So meanwhile, uh, I'm going to share these uh, four people. I already uh, four people are already paid, right? So I'm going to share the video. Yesterday it was not that important. So today I'm going to share both the videos uh, <clears throat> to you, so you can go through that one. And I also share the Google Drive where you have the steps to practice. Yeah. Okay, this is what here. So if you say um, by default you you don't have any any firewall ports allowed So it is allowed from outbound towards the internet from internet. It won't allow so what you do is go to the inbound rules add a rule and Right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give destination ranges everything and uh, It is giving a warning, but simply put allow all we are not going to do this in real time but simply allowing all traffic all traffic all traffic can be catastrophic or some whatever it is so click on add so add everything good so it's creating a security rule once that is done what the next step is we're going to create a virtual machine now i'm not going to Create a Windows virtual machine guys. I'm going to create a Linux virtual machine now If you think that I only know Windows This is a high time you need to start learning Linux because there is again one misconception thinking that Azure is only for Windows No, that is not true Windows also works with Linux and when you are practicing right don't deploy windows machines because windows deploy machines are costly They are actually take times to deploy as well as they are larger now if you are deploy if you are actually practicing some uh, load balances or something right unless unless it is a uh, Microsoft application such as active directory or some office 360 or something like that always deploy the Linux start learning Linux because you know you're going to from uh, from here you're going to go for a uh, DevOps next and Azure uh, from AWS as well there you always deal with uh, Linux so it's a high time to start Linux learning Linux okay good now what you can do is I think I can have uh, what we can do is your network security groups right network security groups can be assigned to Assigned to uh, subnets and Virtual machines or, or or resources basically resources includes virtual machines load balance everything Okay, so here if you see it is it's, it's asking subnets which subnets you want to assign I'll say associate and we can go here select this one and it will here it will it will say one click on okay but you can still assign to all the three subnets guys let me show it to you done again associate select this that means these rules since is since you are associating with these subnets that means these rules will be applicable for all these three subnets so i'm going to go here Okay, it's 244 right 245 should time out is that's 20 minutes. Okay. We'll see Okay done. This is how you can assign a uh, 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 Network security group towards the subnets actually. Okay, what comes next? The next thing is comes is create a VM and let's see So I'll go home and uh, go to the virtual machines And I click on add virtual machine and moreover if it is a linux machine it will be cheaper for you actually so select this come down i'll simply say vm1 vm1 i'm going to select the east to the us and i'm going to go with ubuntu guys okay so ubuntu and change it 
always select uh, B2B series actually for Linux, right? I can make operate this one B1S actually one CPU one GB RAM. It works wonderfully no issues But if I want to deal with Windows, I need to use B2S which is 4 GB RAM at least, okay? So it works with 1 GB RAM also and you know what will happen So the monthly bill is 501 per month and it's a pro rate basis So if I do do the math like if, if, if I run 24 bar 7 this machine uh, If I like 502 rupees divided by 70 or 720 hours per month my calculation is I'm going to get every hour 70 paisa, okay? And you can use the SSH key and password. I'm going to use the password give the username as 3 and give the password here Okay, so <clears throat> here um, I'm going to select the network security group later. So next disks, I'm going to take SSD disk, go networking next. In the networking, select subnet one, public, and you're going to select your network security group, which we have selected, which is this one. And that's it. Go management, advance, tags, review and create. So see that was 0 0.68 paisa so almost like I say 70 paisa. This is 68 paisa or 69 paisa to be precise. So Create so what this will do this will be deploying a Linux machine a Linux machine in Azure basically so this is 246. So if you see still it is not time out guys Okay, it should be actually time mode by 245, but still if you see I was running LS right watch LS right it will like this So so if you don't want the time mode you can simply run so you can simply stop and uh, do your activity So after 299 and once it is done, so what you can do uh, Watch LS and give it like that it will keep on running and you can go back do your work once again come back It will be use control C and do the stuff So this is the simple trick otherwise it will it will basically time out by every 20 minutes Okay Right, let it get de deployed. Linux also deploys very fast, guys. It's one or two minutes to deploy. If it comes Windows, right? Windows, I'm mean, sure it will take time uh, to log in and everything. So let's see. Now, in order to connect to Windows, right, we use the MSTSC uh, Microsoft uh, Remote Desktop Protocol to connect to that one. But in Linux, we are going to use something called as Putty. You can download Putty, it's, it's a free download. You can put it anywhere. It's a very, very there are different tools like Mobi Extreme, Secure CRTA, but uh, this is very, very lightweight. You really don't need to install. Even if you don't have admin rights, also, still you can download and click on exe file, it will open. Okay. Any questions here, guys? Hey, uh, uh, little uh, confusion. Uh, what is the resource group one? Can you explain a little bit on that? The resource group is a logical boundary. So it is like a folder. So now what are the things I have created in the resource group? For example, if I go back, if I go to resource group and uh, this is a resource group I have created. And if you see, these are the components, it's created an SG. It has created inside the resource group. You have these two. And again, we are getting one more machine created. It will also show the disks and everything. Now resource group is nothing but like a folder. That's it, nothing else. It's just like a folder where it holds all the resources an important thing is so the resource group can have resources from multiple locations actually not only on the one particular location from multiple locations so whatever the resources you create in the azure you should be part of some resource group otherwise it won't work you can't really deploy it so resource group is a logical boundary it is not physically okay yes one month is over your free trial is gone yes is it clear? Oh, yeah. Hi, yes, I have a question. Uh -huh. Hello. Yes, tell me. Uh, yeah, uh, as you said, uh, this one, uh, uh, data center it will available in th uh, uh, three location, right? If what if uh, goes down, how it will give backup service? Can you explain me that? There is no backup service. That's why I said, right, if, if, if you have three servers, or mm. if you imagine if you want to have a high application high available application you need yes. to make sure that one you need to install in three different availability zones so that even two availability goes down down your data your application will be safe that is what i'm trying to say okay. all the three oh, won't go down right 
ओके ओके ओके